All right, so this is um, a video response to Non Inquisitor and um, Mephisto about, uh, you know, the difference between um, character uh, skills versus player skills or ability. And uh, <clears throat> both videos are really great because this is an old topic. This is old. This is like, oh shit, this is first generation topic. So I was like, okay. But it's, it's just still have something to say about it. So the um, I really like what 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 hooked me is um, Null Inquisitor's way of describing it. You know, at first it's it's going into relativism. You know, and I'm, relativism is a is huge uh, in gaming, and uh, it's it's like a specter that always comes back in, <clears throat> and. Uh, I was like, no, don't go there, don't do it, don't, don't, you know, don't do it, <laughs> and then let it sleep, and then he is, um, he's going right back into the, into the madness, talking about game design, and, you know, how sometimes this distinction between character uh, ability or skill versus uh, player ability or skill is built in. The, the game, the mechanic, and uh, and then bases distinction on that, saying that you know when it's built in, you, you use it, you know, and you play with it because it's it makes for um, you know fluid uh, gaming and interaction because the game is is uh, is built around that, but when it's not. Uh, it's it's another issue, and then you go, yeah, and then he's, he's falling back on relativism, saying, oh, you know, when it's not, it, it depends on your taste and your approach and all that. Talking about approach, this is what Mephisto uh, seems to uh, base his uh, his discussion on. He's going like, oh, in uh, in gaming, seems like there is, uh, you know, it, 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 considering the difference between uh, player skill and um, uh, character skills ability uh, depends on gaming approach but what is gaming approach you know gaming approach I mean yeah maybe but otherwise it's just taste you know people that uh, you know that uh, embody a certain approach to gaming is just playing the way they like they're just playing the way they want and and that's bring back the the specter of relativism saying oh we cannot you know talk about these things because it depends so here's what i want to say about this i mean we are discussing it we are approaching it we are debating it and we do approach like mephisto say uh, this this issue, if it's one, at <laughs> at first, uh, with uh, with what we consider good, what we consider best, you know, some people will, um, you know, they will create character that they can play, because they burn themselves with a character they cannot play in the past, and this is something that we can that Mephisto talked about, mentioning, you know, how sometimes. Uh, you have like an intelligence that goes beyond your own intelligence, so your character is too smart for you, kind of thing. And I remember making a video about that. Uh, the fact that, you know, if you don't know shit about science, don't don't make a science guy because you will not be able to uh, hold on to it. Now, that being said, um, what you gonna do about it? If you go, if you go by uh, creating such a character that you know you won't be able to uh, to role play it, what's gonna be left at the table? Mephisto said it perfectly right. He says, "Yes, what's gonna be left at the table is just stats and number." Oh, my character has a twenty, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have it. And 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 when, and I mean, at the end of the day, it's 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 just gonna be uh, it's just gonna be uh, 
you going for the stats, you know? And if it's, uh, and, and that is obviously, uh, I mean, at, at least, at least for me, it's something that I haven't seen. Uh, I mean, I don't, my English is rusty. <laughs> um, I don't, I've noticed that a lot of people, you know, they don't, they don't really like that, that kind of gaming. I mean, it's not, it's not for, uh, I mean, there is, there is the, those group out there. They say, I have a 20, you know, my, my, my stat is super high. I'm, I should have it, you know, even if I have, I have no idea to role play about. I'm a deep, deep, deep scientist. I'm a super smart genius thing and I'm doing it. I have no narration for you, but I have a stat for you, so let's move on. You know, there is group out there, but I mean, it's not, it's not the, it's not, it's role playing game. It's, it's a role play. So a lot of people, they approach role playing for role play. They don't, they don't approach it for the stats. I mean, at least, at least in my experience. So on the other hand, though, it's really interesting because sometimes it goes both ways. Uh, the, on the, on the perspective of the, um, the player skill, uh, you know, the player ability. Uh, sometimes the character is is uh, is so weak. The player is that weak. That comes down. Uh, that comes along with uh, min maxers. Sometimes you know they they gonna put they they're gonna put a lot lots lots of points in uh, in certain uh, certain stats and then especially with the the, the the point buy you know point buy creates that automatically so when it comes down to um when it comes back to uh to those leftovers the the stats that are so low when the game starts these guys have great narration they role play super well but they have all kinds of ideas all kinds of ideas super great ideas but they're too great now we have a, a the other way around you have too many ideas you're too good for your character Honestly, nowadays, personally, I really don't care about this issue. Like, honestly, I just, I let the dice talk. As long as everybody have fun. Because here's how I, <laughs> oh, I just say it. As long as everybody have fun. No! I should disappear. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's so easy. It's just, it comes with it. That's not what I meant. I, I'm going to do it again. No editing. Raw stuff. All right. Um, what I want to say is, I don't care about this issue. I mean, I don't care. I'm not looking on your sheet. You know, when I play, I don't care about other people's sheet. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to go there. I just wanna. I just want a game. You know, I want to be in the game. So, as long as everybody's playing the same game together, and that the story move forward, the idea of being above your skill on the sheet or under it and and having a narration or having content that doesn't match the stat it's it, it, it becomes irrelevant it becomes some kind of a, a, you know net picking you know net picking gaming kind of thing attitude behavior where you're not supposed to say that you're not supposed to do that i mean for me it's I don't play for for these kind of, uh, of stuff. This is not my. This is not what I do. What I want to. What I want to go. What I want to have. Is, it's it's a good moment, together, and uh, this this moment should be, uh, you know, ab about gaming. So what I do is I consider a scoping, um, a scoping approach. It's uh, like like a perspective approach on um, on the, the the distinction between the stats. And the content and the narration and, and and all that, meaning that let's say for example he has the the, the the player has a great idea. Maybe it's an idea for a a stat of ten. I don't I don't care about the game. It's it's just a a thought a thought experiment. He has an idea for a stat of ten. Today, the way we play. We are high fantasy. For some reason, we jump from tower to towers and we do backflips in the air, you know. It's not the nitty greedy full realism session. That session is all over the place, you know. Everybody's j just standing up around the table and everybody's jumping in the air, catching, you know, catching 
arrows with their teeth. You know? And then he has an idea that's on a level of uh, 10. You know? On another session, the same player is going to have an idea maybe of uh, of 10 again. But it's going to be an idea that in the other session before where it was all epic and stuff, this idea w would have not even been considered as, an, as a role or maybe level 2 or 3 stats in intelligence or whatever. You know, it's an idea. So, so you see what I'm saying? It's like, it doesn't matter. For me, it doesn't matter what, what's on the sheet. It's just the perspective in the moment. So if you, when when we start considering our gaming experience like that, it, it it becomes more about the event of gaming in itself, instead of the net picking of realism and stat management and what you should do or not as in role play or not and stuff like that. You know, even though I know what it is, you know, I've, I've been there and maybe I will come back to this attitude. You know. But right now it's more about the event, you know, and this is why a lot of people, I, I think, you know, they, they talk about, oh, it's all about fun as long as we have fun, you know, maybe that's why it comes, this comes out all the time. So for me, it's like, okay, so we take this time to game together. So this is the question I'm asking, you know, not, not for everybody, but for the, for the topic at hand, it's like, we take this time for gaming. Do we really want to start digging into uh, bits and pieces of uh, the level of uh, of a stat your idea is about? Nah, I don't know. I don't. Think, that's not. That's not why I game it. But it's a great. It's a great. It's a great issue for the people who are uh, in it. You know, it's it's really like a, an issue about realism, about understanding role playing versus uh, stats and, and the attitude of the the player towards it. So anyway, thanks. That's what I have to say about this. Thanks, Manifest, uh, Mephisto. Thanks, uh, Null Inquisitor. Uh, great, uh, uh, great, great question. Great topic. And uh, see you guys around.